Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and the news that we have all been waiting for, the Springbok Rugby Championship squad has been announced. A 40-man squad, potentially 41-man squad has been announced, a potential recall and a change of allegiance uh, for Jean Klein, um, which is going to be very interesting. We talk about that quite a lot, um, but a very interesting squad that has been announced. Interesting to see the inclusions, the exclusions. And uh, just what this means for the World Cup for certain players and, and sort of gives us a bit of a indication on what the picking order is uh, for the, the team going into the rugby chance. Before we look at the squad, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. So we've been kind of waiting for the squad announcement almost every day now. We kind of knew it was going to come this weekend. And uh, it is official. Supreme coach Jacques Ninaba has named a 40-man, potentially 41-man squad for the rugby championship. They will then come in now into a, a training camp in Pretoria. Um, they will arrive tomorrow on Sunday, the 11th of June, and we'll be based here until Thursday, the 29th of June, ahead of our season opener, which happens in July. Let's look at the squad, shall we? The big news in terms of players who've been called up, Premiership and French players have uh, joined the squad. The likes of Chesman Colby, Andre Esterhazen, Andre Pollard, Jasper Visa, Jean-Luc Dupree, a bit of a strange, well, not a strange, but a bit of a surprising inclusion as well as Vincent Koch and Trevor Inyakane. Uh, the big news, however, everything is kind of centering around this news. Jean Klein, Munster Lock, who has played five tests for Ireland, um, has been included, uh, which in fact he actually played in the last World Cup, will join the squad as a 41st member pending the outcome of an application filed by SRAB regarding the former Stormers Locks eligibility in terms of Regulation 8 and based on birthright. The decision is expected to be received soon. So, Jean Klein, how's that? I mean, it's interesting because, I mean, he's just come off the back of winning the, the URC. So, I mean, we're talking about a, a top, top quality player. Um, most people sort of, and, and he's played for Ireland before, so everybody's sort of sitting there going, you know, well, surely he's a bit of a shoe in you know he deserves to go to the world cup should be going to the world cup um and everybody was very surprised when he wasn't named in the island squad well the reason for that is because he's actually been named in the springbok squad a genuine Eben Etzebeth replacement that is what we're looking at people there's been talks about you know the the lock department and and, and how you know we've got when Arcus Neyman is fit and and the Franklin Moss is considered a lock for example we've got you know four of the top 10 locks in the world um, but when Evan Etzebeth is not there, we kind of miss that enforcer. Here he is. Here he is. His name is Jean Klein. He's been absolutely brilliant for Munster this season, winning the URC. There's been so much hype around him. Everybody's saying that he should be playing for Ireland and really cool to see it. The Spring Master gone, actually, he can do a job for us. And they've gone best, obviously gone to him and said, how about coming back and representing South Africa? Um, which is very cool. I, I, I recent memory, I think this is the first play he's actually played for somebody else and other nations and not having to come back to South Africa. Um, in terms of eligibility, I mean, he was born here, he was raised here, he played for the Stormers. So there should be absolutely no issues to try and get that sort of part sorted, you know, to sort of change his allegiance to South Africa. But very cool that the Springbok squad have taken uh, the initiative, or the Springbok staff have taken the initiative. So let's go through the squad, shall we? Uh, if we look at the props, Thomas Detoy, Stephen Kitsoff, Vincent Koch, Franz Malherber, Oxen Chair, Trevor Nyakani. This actually looks very similar to, you know, some of the, the names that we talked about in our in our fan chosen uh, 32, 33 man squad for the World Cup. Um, so, yeah, Joseph Dweber, Malcolm Marks, Bongi Manami. We, we knew that Joseph, Joseph Dweber was going to be the third choice hooker. I think if you didn't know that, you haven't been paying attention. The locks are Lurt Diagi, Ibn Etzebeth, Marvin Ori, and Arke Sneeman. Uh, lots of people talking about no Ruan Nokia. Jean Klein for me is the superior player right now. Ruan Nokia will play many a test for South Africa. But I'm really, really, really chuffed about that Jean Klein decision. If we look at our loose forwards, PSF, Toy, Sia Khaleesi, Evan Ruiz, Quacker Smith, Mark of Estad, and Dwayne Camuna, and then Jasper Visa has joined up um, in terms of the, the training camps you've been having. Jean Luc Dupre, back in the, the, the box setup. Uh, the indication that he was going to sort of make a comeback was there last year when he was called up and was playing in the SAA. Um, he's a player that has never really sort of nailed down a spot in a Springbok squad or in a Springbok lineup, but has been absolutely brilliant for sale in the last few years and, and very cool to see him now being included potentially in World Cup plans. Uh, he's been listed as utility forward next to Dion Free and Franco Mostert. Five scrum offs. Fafta Clerk, Jaden Hensler, Hershey Yankees, Kovac Renach and Grant Williams. That'll probably be trimmed down to at least four, probably three for the World Cup. Fly Hearts, Martin Liebach, Andre Pollard, Damian Billimson, no Alton Yankees, who I personally think 
is not completely out of the frame. If you, for example, if you follow him on social media, he's training really hard. He's keeping himself fit. He's talking about a lot of different things. So I personally think that there's been a conversation which says that right now you are not within the setup. You're not within that 14-man squad. If there's an injury to a fly half, those are our three fly halves right now. Well, I, you know, I don't think Dame Phillips is really a fly half option. Right? Well, I think he actually probably is, but not, for example, ideal. I do think it was an injury to an Andre Pollard or a or a David Villains or a Mike Leibach. I think Alton Yankees would actually find himself back in the squad, to be honest. Everybody's saying that's the end for him. It's the end for him for now. I think he is. I think he's no longer part of the core group. But I do think that they would far sooner put him in than call up somebody new. Uh, if you look at the centers, the Kanye Am, Damon Delendi, Andre Estes, and Jesse Creel, no surprise there. Uh, there was sort of talk about was Andre Estes going to be included. Didn't get maybe as many opportunities as, he, as maybe he should have last season. Um, but on the back of, once again, another very impressive premiership season is included. Outside backs, Kirtley Aronson, Cheslin Colby, Billy LaRue, Marcus Loma, Pimpy, Kane and Moody. You kind of expect for me, for Kane and Moody to not kind of probably be involved in that final Supreme Box squad, but really cool to see him involved. Um, and, and that's it. You know, no France Stain, for example. He's, you know, he's, he's had a struggle a lot with injury. Um, him and Elton Yankees probably sort of the big omissions in, with regards to that 2019 World Cup squad in terms of players who are still playing. It's a good squad. A very good squad and i think the fact that we have gone with the water, water squad which we kind of expected shows that there are going to be opportunities for these players to to play in the rugby championship and stake a bit of a claim you know your marvin Ories, your 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 you know joseph Dwebers, your esther hazens your kane and moody's darling to prayer all these sort of players are on the fringes um probably not expect to be part of the world cup squad but for example, a player like Jean Clay, very interesting, you know, to bring him in cold, yeah, I mean, he hasn't been part of the Springbok squad, means I reckon he actually could almost be on Springbok World Cup squad territory. You know, I think if Arkes Neyman were to, see, to to have another setback, I think they'd very quickly go and put Jean Clay in there instead of him. Go, even it's a bit Jean Clay as your fours, Frank Moss with Arkes Neyman as your fives, and you're pretty well covered there. Let me know what you think about the squad down in the comments below. We'll obviously do a couple of live shows over the next few days, discuss and break down the squad. I don't think there's too many surprises there, apart from the Jean Klein and, and Jean-Luc Dupriere. Who is unlucky to miss out? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Stephen, and I'll chat to you soon.